All right, what's going on folks? Jeff London back with another video. Before we jump into the video, do me a quick favor. Click the subscribe button for me, please. Subscribe, help grow the channel. Also follow me on Instagram, at King London Supreme. I'm on Facebook, Jeff London Official. Click the link below. Go to my website to download my programs. I got a fat loss program. I have the muscle building program and I'm releasing a six pack ab program. All right, folks? So if you wanna learn more information about that, click the link below. All right, folks, I know, I know it's been a minute. I apologize. Anyway, folks, sorry about the delay, but listen, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back, all right? I'm, you don't have to worry about this anymore. I'm back kicking it out. So thank you for rocking out with me. So today's video, folks, I'm gonna give you four tips to break a fat loss plateau. We've all gone through this, right? All right, folks, tip number one is that you may have been dieting too long, right? Like, if you've been dieting for, you know, like two or three weeks, and, and you're constantly burning more calories than you take in, your body's gonna stop. It's gonna start slowing down on burning fat, right? As a survival mechanism, right? Your body thinks it's going through a famine, and then your body says, hey, we should start storing fat because we're, we haven't, we're burning more calories than we're taking in. Now, that usually happens only if you've been killing your dieting, right? Like you've been at it, what, that's called a caloric deficit, by the way, when you burn more calories than you take in. That's the only way you lose weight, all right? So when you've been at a caloric deficit for a long period, period of time, not even that long, I would say about anywhere from like 12, like 10, 10 days or more, your body will start to slow down on burning fat a little bit. So what you need to do is to have one day where you have a caloric surplus. Just one day where you need to eat more calories than you burn, right? You gotta consume more calories than you burn to tell your body it's okay to start burning fat again. And, and that's science, man, and a lot of people don't follow that rule. But I know it seems counterproductive, but trust me, you need to do that. That's just science, man, it's a fact. If you had a caloric deficit too long, your body's gonna slow down on the fat loss process. So now keep in mind, folks, you only have this cheat day when you've been at a caloric deficit for a long period of time. So let's call it seven days, right? Let's say seven to 10 days, you've been at a caloric deficit continuously. You need to have that one day where you take in more calories so your body can start burning fat again, all right? That's tip number one. All right, tip number two, um, you, you need to pick up the intensity of your workouts, right? So you, you gotta switch it, you gotta be more intense, man. I, I've seen this more often than I like to see it. I see, it, like literally the other day I saw a woman come into the gym, she was in there for 10 minutes. I was training somebody in a residential gym and I see it all the time, man. I see people come into the gym for about 10 minutes and not even pushing their body in a metabolic state where you need to recover from the workout. I don't know what people are doing, man, but you gotta make sure your workouts are intense. All right, that's the only way you're gonna get your body to train. If you're in there lollygagging and you know Snapchatting and Instagram flicks, it's not gonna work for you. You gotta go in there, you gotta kill it. You gotta work up a sweat. You gotta get your heart rate up. You, you gotta work. So pick up the intensity. That's tip number two. All right, folks, tip number three, you have to increase your cardio, all right? So if you're working out, if you're lifting weights, add some cardio, folks, and increase the amount of cardio that you're doing. In addition to increasing your cardio, do the right cardio, folks. You should be doing high intensity interval training. A lot of people are coming to me and they're telling me they're on the rower or they're on the elliptical for 10 minutes, and I'm like, man, that's not enough. That's not gonna push your body in that metabolic state, right? You may burn calories, but it's not. you're not gonna put your body in the afterburn effect. Let me give it to you in layman's term. You have to work out to the point where you force your body to recover from your workout, right? So your workout has to be intense enough where, you're, where you burn calories during the workout, but now your body needs to recover from that workout. And that is the real key to fat loss. That's what high intensity interval training does, and that's what lifting weights does, right? So if you're on the um, elliptical or if you're on the rower and you're just BSing, right? Like you're doing like 10 minutes at a moderate pace, that's not enough for you to push your body in a metabolic state into that afterburn effect, right? You're only gonna burn calories during the workout. But opposed to hit cardio, if you were to run on the treadmill for um, doing sprints, right? One minute sprints and resting for 30 seconds. If you did that 10 times, that will give you three times the results as 10 minutes jogging on the treadmill or 10 minutes on the elliptical continuously at a moderate pace. So make sure you do your cardio, make sure you're doing HIIT cardio. Lastly but not leastly, folks, this is uh, it's probably one of the more important ones, folks. 
you gotta switch up your workout routine, man. Like you shouldn't be doing the whole like the same workout for the last year, right? The reason why is because your body's gonna adapt. Your body's gonna get used to what you're doing. So you have to switch up the workout, right? So that's a big conversation itself. Um, but with that being said, there are gonna be some exercises that always stay in your workout routine, right? So like for me, lunges are always in my workout routine, but I'll switch out other leg exercises. Uh, some type of bench press is always in my workout routine, but I'll switch it out. Uh, some type of bicep curl is always in my workout routine, but I'll switch out other exercises around that muscle group, all right? So make sure you switch up your workout program. Ideally, you wanna be on a workout program anywhere from, uh, I would say eight to 16 weeks. After that period, somewhere in that ballpark, you wanna switch it up so you can shock your body, impact your body. Your body's smart and it'll adapt to what you're doing. So you gotta switch out the workout program. Um, and, and if you need a workout program, hit me up, folks. I'm doing workout programs. I'll put a little email below, all right? Hopefully that was helpful. I'm your boy. I'm Jeff London, baby.